What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with more San Diego Comic Con coverage for you for the year of 2022. Last night we had a very epic preview night. If you guys missed our coverage of preview night last night, definitely go check it out on the channel. Very long 45 minute breakdown or so of everything we got at preview night. We broke down all the images. I told you guys all about the info. And today it was an even, it was an even equal, I guess maybe. I, I don't know. You guys could be the judge of today's reveals compared to last night. But we did have a full day of reveals again. Again today and I don't know if we're even done but at the time of recording you know I may have to plug something in at the end of the video so stay tuned to the very end of the video and by the time we get to the end of the video maybe they will have released every single thing but I think we have everything covered man but let's dive into I guess day two technically it's day one but I guess we're gonna dive into day two of our reveal figure so let's go ahead and get started man let's start things off with our ultimate edition figures and let's start off with this one because it's very crucial the Mattel creations.com exclusive ultimate Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes figure from Wrestlemania. Look at this figure right here, man. We have our first look at an Ultimate Edition Cody. He comes with three interchangeable heads. It's said that he is going to include his entrance jacket. It does come with his weight belt, interchangeable hands. Very beautiful gear. You guys know that Cody always rocks the sick gear. But I'm, I'm interested to see how the formula looks when it's all together. I don't know if I'm buying into this torso or the way this figure looks just yet. On paper, everything looks good. But until we get everything finalized, I don't know exactly what I'm going to think here. But the Cody... I'm excited for it. I am excited for it just to see what it looks like. I, I love Cody. I love his figure. So this will be fun. And it's so cool to see that we're getting an Ultimate Edition and a Supreme Edition in the same year. Unbelievable. This actually goes up for order tomorrow. This Cody Rhodes pre-order will be a one-week pre-order. It's going to be open on MattelCreations.com starting tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern. So it'll be 11 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard. So be on the lookout for that. I don't know how many I'm going to order. I do believe this figure is going to go for 45 bucks or so on their website. I don't know the, the exact details of it, but that apparently is the deal there. So Cody Rhodes Ultimate Figure, if you guys want it, get your hands on it. It looks like it's going to be immaculate. I'm excited for it. We'll have to see. It's crazy because the head sculpts look just like the Jazzwares figure, doesn't it? The serious scan, the smiley scan, and the yelling scan. So it's going to be hard to beat those Jazzwares heads. I'm just saying. We'll have to see, but I'm excited for this one. You guys will also notice the packaging that comes with this figure. Very unique packaging. American Nightmare Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition packaging. I'm definitely going to have to get a uh, men-on-card version, so I'm definitely going to order two of these, possibly three. I like how it has the skull ripping over his face there for the packaging. Very unique, man. I, I love it. I think it's badass. This is one that I'm very much looking forward to. Now, here's a figure that blew up, and everybody was tagging me in it, and I gotta get into it right now. The Ultimate Edition AJ Styles, man. Oh my god in heaven. Look at this AJ Styles figure. They gave him a good torso. This is actually the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy torso. I'll probably drop my Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy review in the morning, because that did come in. I was gonna post it this morning, but being as I was up all night doing last night's reveals, I'm going to post my Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy review tomorrow. I think this torso is going to work for, for AJ Styles. It's a lot better than the Daniel Bryan torso. You throw in those butterfly joints, the sick-ass white and blue gear, one of my favorite gears he's ever rocked right here. You have your pissed-off expression, your kind of smirk expression, and then you do have the phenomenal forearm hair blowing to the side so he can hit somebody with a phenomenal forearm. I love the gloves. I love the wristbands. This figure right here is phenomenal. All puns intended. I am so excited for this AJ Styles figure. Best AJ Styles they've ever made. I am so hyped for it. I am so hyped for this figure. Can't believe it. Cannot wait for it. I am I am right here over the moon for it. And I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I mean, that's all I can really say. I will be buying a lot of this one for customs and such, but this is a badass figure. Now, speaking of which, man, we also have a look at Ultimate Edition 17 Jeff Jarrett. So our first ever Jeff Jarrett is going to be an Ultimate Edition. Also unbelievable. I, I just cannot believe it. Probably not everybody's go-to look for Jeff Jarrett, right? But this is a Jeff Jarrett we're going to be getting. You got the double J hat. You got different interchangeable heads. On paper, I know it's just a grayed out render, but it looks really, really good. I'm excited to see what exactly we get with it. Uh, also, AJ Styles is Ultimate Edition 16, and Jeff Jarrett is Ultimate Edition 17. So there are there is going to be one more figure in each. Do not know the exact wave just yet. I don't know who they're possibly going to plug in either at this moment, so we'll have to see about that. I would love to see a Seth Rollins in one of these waves. I'd like to see a Randy Orton in one of these waves, possibly. We'll have to see about that, but those are some upcoming Ultimate Editions. And speaking of which, we also have a look at some more upcoming Ultimate Editions. We have the Ultimate Edition Legends Target Exclusive Rock figure. 
either. So it is going to be very similar to the last Rock Ultimate Edition that we got. You guys know that one's very highly sought after. That's probably one of the best Rock figures they've ever made. And to see him getting another figure, hopefully, you know, it looks to be the same head sculpts, but those those head sculpts were phenomenal. They were really, really good. So I'm sure that it's going to be, we're gonna, probably going to get a Brahma Bull Championship. We'll probably get an entrance vest, maybe the cow vest and some cloth pants, or maybe one of those iconic shirts and pants, or maybe a gym, a gym pants. And I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if it's going to give us different looks, what it would exactly the, the look is going to be, but I'm excited for the Rock figure. We also have an Ultimate Edition Legends Target exclusive again in Bret Hart. The all pink one that we saw last night at preview night. It is also a Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition. So, Bret Hart will come first, obviously, and then it will be The Rock. You guys know that we just recently got Batista and then Macho Man, so next time it will be Bret Hart and The Rock. So many different Ultimate Editions coming from all different angles, man. You got these two packs and these one sets and just these exclusives. I mean, it's going insane right now. But Bret Hart and the All Pink will also be a Target exclusive Legends figure. Looks good. Covered it last night. It looks amazing. Another Ultimate Edition that we didn't really have good looks at just yet is the Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Amazon exclusive Goldberg. Now, this is one that I shook my head at as soon as it was announced because I just didn't understand why we needed this figure, right? We have so many Goldbergs that look so similar. And I feel like with the Ultimate Editions, the way they make the torso, the head sit too low and the proportions look awkward. They did this to anytime this torso is used specifically, it always looks that way. I think the only one that doesn't look that bad with this torso is probably Triple H and John Cena. I think that's the two. It could be wrong, but I know Roman Reigns looks a bit awkward. This Goldberg figure looks awkward. You do get your two championships. I'm not huge on the head sculpts. You know, we've seen the screaming expression before. It is his WCW look. You do have the smoke blowing out head sculpt, which looks very weird without the smoke in it. It looks like he's wearing a mouthpiece, kind of. I don't know. You guys can let me know. You got the pointing hand. You got your fist. You got your gloved hands. I don't know. You guys can let me know. I'm not a big Goldberg fan. It looks pretty good men on card. I think it looks better men on card than out of the box. Is that kind of That's kind of insane, but Ultimate Edition Goldberg Fan Takeover Amazon exclusive is coming, and then this right here, man, this is going to be a big part of the video because I got to get into this right now. WWE Elite Series 100 was revealed to us, man. And I have to get this out of the way immediately because I want to know exactly what you guys think. Please sound off in the comment section below. If you do leave a comment on this video, please edit it. If you've already left a comment, go down there and edit it because I want to know exactly how you're feeling because I have a lot of mixed emotions about Elite Series 100. I think that there's a lot of different things that come to my brain when we're talking about this. I even took to Twitter and I'll just say my Twitter thoughts pretty much cap encapsulate how I'm feeling here, but I said, oh man, not that they really could have ever lived up to the hype that was put on them for Elite 100, but I think Elite 100 is underwhelming when you step back. They're all good, some great, but I don't think it's really what a lot of people had in their minds, just my opinion. So that's kind of what I was thinking going into Elite 100. Let's break it down, man. First up in the set, we do have Becky Lynch in her all-white gear. Now, just addressing the figures themselves, let's run through the figures real quick, and then I'll give you guys my entire thoughts on Elite Series 100. So this figure looks really good. I love the white gear. I like that we get the SmackDown Women's championship. I hope to God that jacket is cloth or some sort of... I doubt it is. I bet it's one of those posable Seth Rollins jackets, which aren't very good. The attire looks great. The head sculpt looks great. I actually like this Becky Lynch figure a lot. Next up in the set is stunning Steve Austin. Got his rainbow-esque trunks going there. Comes with the TV championship. Great looking head sculpt. I mean, it's a solid looking figure. Not my favorite look of stunning Steve or Steve Austin, of course. Not his most iconic look, but it is still a nice figure and one that a lot of people were waiting on and stuff like that. We have Rey Mysterio here with another first time in the line championship from WCW. A cruiserweight Rey Mysterio, I mean, good God at the Rey Mysterios, man. I, I have to count them up. I have to count them up at the end of the video or something like that. So many Reys, so many different looks. I mean, he's rocked so many different masks, so it makes sense. He's very toyetic, one of the most toyetic of all time. But Rey Mysterio here in Elite Series 100, not like the best thing of all time. Just a solid little Rey Mysterio figure. All his figures are good, though. We do have my boy John Cena making it in Elite Series 100. He's got his chain gang hat and wristbands removed. Movable. Same formula as we saw with his top talents figure, except it is a change of deco. You do get the WWE Spinner title, which is, it looks like it's going to be the updated version. This is not the version that was around in 2005 from when the time period is. And he comes with a chain gang chain. I'm praying to Jesus that is a loose chain and a nice size pendant. Because if it's not, if it's the same pendant from the Defining Moments John Cena back in the day, I'm going to be very disappointed. But he isn't even coming with a t-shirt or jersey or anything. So that's another thing for John Cena Elite 100. We have 
have The Rock showing up in Elite 100, Brahma Bull Championship, which is good. I know this figure will be great because the top picks rock is pretty much the exact same rock, but it does have a new head sculpt, and it is in the red and black trunks. And a Brahma Bull Championship, first time on the line there for that as well. Very cool to include that with him. That's why I imagine this Brahma Bull title will also come with the Ultimate Edition that is Target exclusive, but there is The Rock. And then to finish up our set, we have Andre the Giant, who is the chase variant with this first time in the line championship. Very classic look here. He's got his suit on with his jeans and his dress shoes. This is a very badass figure. I love the, I love both of these. I think they're very unique. They're going to be massive. You have these giant hands. You have the necklace. You have, like, dude, this is a really badass figure. And you get two different Andres right here in the suit. I think this is great and classic. And again, man, just breaking down the full set of Elite 100, I don't think that the figures are necessarily bad. I just don't think they encapsulate what a lot of people were thinking when they think of Elite Series 100. I think everybody was thinking Elite Series 100. 100. It's going to celebrate 100 elite lines from WWE and Mattel and they were going to probably give us six characters who encapsulate that full 100 waves, you know, who kind of have carried the wave from the beginning to here. And I like some of the, the people that they chose. Stone Cold, Rey Mysterio, John Cena, The Rock. I mean, I could see Andre, and Becky Lynch is kind of a, a dud for me in this wave. I just don't see her in Elite Series 100. Andre is very iconic, of course, very legendary. Still didn't see him in Elite Series 100, even though the figure's super badass. I think this would have called for a great Legends figure, you know, like a uh, chase variant and a regular variant in the or a regular version in the legends line from target i just don't know i just think it's very underwhelming i i felt like a lot of people these figures are also going to come like in figure sleeves or something like that like uh they're going to have like a sleeve or like some artwork that goes over the figure or comes with a figure or something like that which is really cool but i just think they're so plain jane compared to what everybody was thinking. I, th I think that uh, it's just a dud, or it just feels a little bit underwhelming. Not that the figures are bad, or the figures are ugly, or they're terrible, or they're just whatever, but it seemed like a lot of people were pretty disappointed and underwhelmed with Elite Series 100, which is a just sad to see. I hate that we all feel underwhelmed by it. I hate that we all feel disappointed in it. I think the figures are going to be great. I just don't think that it celebrates 100 lines of figures in, in which we were thinking in our brains. So, I don't know. You guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Didn't want to spend like a year and a half on this, but I did want to talk about it. Probably should have made my own video on it, but that's just what we were thinking, man, for Elite 100. You guys let me know. I don't know. Let's move on. I don't want to spend too, too much time there. That's just some of my quick thoughts. We also have a ringside exclusive Mega Powers Elite 2-pack with Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. What a iconic 2-pack, and the packaging for this thing was absolutely insane as well. You guys will notice Macho Man also has the new skin tone added to him as well. I love the gear. This is very sick, and it's a sick-ass mock packaging. I know a lot of people are going to want this mint on card. Very beautiful. I, I think these are better than Ultimates in the sense that I like that the Ab Crunch. I like the Ab Crunch on Elites better than the Ultimate Edition. You guys will also notice they have a hand-shaking hand that plugs into each figure. You have a new eyes-closed head sculpt for Hulk Hogan. You do have kind of a newer head sculpt going on there. You got the tongue-out head sculpt with Macho. You do get a WWF Championship. I think this is a pretty solid two-pack. I like this two-pack a lot. I'm ready to review these. I, I think this is great. I think a lot of people were asking for these. You also have the claw Mega Powers cape going on for Macho. Got a headband accessory. I like this a lot. I actually enjoy these. This is up for pre-order right now, by the way, so if you guys want to go grab that, go ahead and go check into that and grab it. But let's move on. This one I did not expect. We have an Amazon 3-pack. We have an Amazon exclusive WWE Elite 3-pack with Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar, and Roman Reigns. Now, if this Roman Reigns has this same head sculpt again, I'm going to vomit. I am so sick of seeing this head sculpt, and it comes up later in this video. But he is going to come with his white Bloodline shirt, which I think is very clean. I would have liked to have seen the white Head of the Table shirt, or the white Acknowledge Me shirt. Still badass. You guys know that the Ultimate Edition does come with the black version of that shirt. He comes with the Blue Universal Championship. He is a great Top Picks Roman Reigns here with the red gauntlet, which is going to be coming up in the video later. But here is our Brock Lesnar in our jeans. Remember, we were worried. We were like, what the hell? I thought the Ultimate Edition, or the the Elite 96 was going to be the Brock in jeans with a smiley face. Apparently, it's going to be the three-pack. So we have the three-pack Brock, and it comes with an updated Paul Heyman that we have been waiting on forever with a microphone, interchangeable hands. Everybody's been just pleading for an updated Paul Heyman, so I know a lot of people are excited about this. I don't know the price point of it or anything like that, but this looks very solid. I'm excited for this. I'm hoping that it will be the full cowboy Brock with the flannel, with the shirt, with the cowboy hat to fill out this three-pack here for Amazon Exclusive. I think this is a badass set. I'm very, very excited. 
excited to get this three pack not a huge thing going on but i think there's a lot of bonuses to this three pack that i'm excited about so this is pretty cool and it's cool to see them adventure out maybe we'll get some more three packs that are badass next up is ruthless aggression wave four we only have one figure from the wave but it is going to be eric bischoff oh my god in heaven a ruthless aggression eric bischoff in his black jacket you guys have been seeing a figure very similar to this on the pick fed for years and years i finally have an official eric bischoff figure i honestly need to update mine right because he he looks so young on the pick fed but it's just one of those iconic things i guess with the channel now but it looks pretty much just like the figure that i have been rocking on the show for so many years now but the head sculpt looks great i cannot wait i cannot wait for this eric bischoff it is a figure i've been wanting forever so this is great this is absolutely great hopefully we get even an, an old version of him later on i think that would be really cool but eric bischoff is the first figure in the set and then getting into ruthless aggression wave five is tory wilson our first ever tory wilson so insane to be seeing these figures come to fruition like for years and years we were asking for molly holly and tory wilson and stacy keebler and eric bischoff and shelton benjamin and all these figures and now they finally come to fruition and it's just such a great day this tory wilson looks absolutely fantastic very good formula so i think they did a really good job here with the ruthless aggression waves four and five i can't wait to find out what the rest of the sets look like but moving right along this was a very interesting reveal right here man this is actually going to be a target exclusive three pack raw 30th anniversary undertaker scott hall one two three pack i do believe it's not only online but i think this is also going to be available to us in stores but going through these different images great looking undertaker figure in his gray look i know that we have gotten one similar to this in the past but this is probably the best version that we've seen great looking head sculpt you also have your razor ramon here i said scott hall you guys know what i meant there you have your razor ramon in the green kind of a repaint you guys know how they do with the three packs and the store exclusives for the pay-per-view waves they take an existing figure they add a coat of paint they change one or two things about it and then they re-put it back out a lot of reuse sometimes but they have a brand new undertaker right here you have your repainted razor in the green attire i know a lot of people are going to be excited about this one you have a repaint of your one two three kid figure from back in the day i think it was elite 40 or something like that maybe it was elite 39 it was one of those ways but you have your money bag tons of money accessories here and you also include the raw letters with interchangeable hands so a big deal coming here for this three pack i think this is really awesome adds to our setups adds to everything going on i love it i think this is really classic and really unique to us it is up for pre-order right now on target.com so if you want to go put your pre-order in go get that in now moving right along man diving into some elite renders of some upcoming elites we have elite series 98 starting off with my man finn balor i knew that this figure would be in a render image at least and we have the demon king here in his all his body paint he's got the grimacing expression painted up like the demon i would love to see an interchangeable head sculpt that's serious but this is going to be so sick with the new formula with the great ab crunch with the double jointed arms i would love to see this figure come to fruition here he is unfortunately not the chase figure but he is going to have his head dress he's got interchangeable hands there may be one or two more accessories with this figure we'll have to wait and see but this is sick as hell very excited for this demon king finn Balor. you guys know how big of a fan i am of him and with the added articulation and double jointed arms this is going to be a very nice figure i hope it comes to like when it comes to fruition i hope that the you know final product is as good as the render image but this fin looks insane i love it i think it's fantastic great demon paint always excited and it does look like it is on the ripped torso so as long as that stays true i will be fine with this figure as long if they go to the daniel bryan torso you can throw it the hell out in the yard next up in elite 98 we also have a look at farouk Assad. we discussed this figure not too long ago got his sub-zero look got his gladiator looking going there you got two interchangeable head sculpts there with each helmet get your interchangeable hands very unique look there for farouk i can't believe we're even getting this like i love how we got some deep cuts here for elite series 98 we also have a look at our updated mandy rose figure looks really good you guys know that women's figures have improved immensely you got your angel wings there got the dark hair mandy you got your interchangeable hands i imagine this will be a lot better than her elite 75 figure which wasn't a bad figure i just think this one will be better so mandy rose is looking good here for elite 78 we also have a look at rick boogs and i knew it man i knew he was going to be jacked and he is he looks good i love the let's ride gear he's also the chase variant so you have your regular normal let's ride gear with the v-neck guitar 
with the rocker hands, the mic holding hands. This is going to actually be a fun figure, I think. I think it's going to be a fun figure to pose around. I like the formula and stuff we got going on for him. I think it looks just like Rick Books. This is good. This is good with me. Uh, the Chase variant's in the all red. You have your V-neck. It's very similar, but it is a repaint. I think the regular version's better, though. You know, I, I think they really did that there, so that is good for us. Moving on to Elite Series 99, we have a new trashy Corbin. Look at him. And it's a Hawaiian shirt with his hat. He's got his happy Corbin head, and then you have your down-on-his-luck Corbin head. And I think this is a very odd torso. I don't like these legs for him. How many different formulas are they going to give Trash Corbin, man? How many different formulas are they going to give him? This is more of like a Shane McMahon arm type with the double jointed arms. You got your hat on there. I don't know. This figure is going to be very weird, man. This is going to be like our fourth different formula we've seen from Trash Corbin. So that will be interesting to see moving forward to what we get and how we get. But there is Corbin. You know, I kind of dig it a little bit, but he can get he can get walloped in my fed or walloped in my shelf. You know what I'm saying? But I love that we got our trashy Corbin. May have to get two of these for the Down on His Luck Corbin and the uh, Happy Go Lucky Idiot Face Corbin. We also have a look at Elite 99 Riddle. We knew that he was coming to Elite 99. Not my favorite gear here. The red looks okay. I feel like he has better gear, but it looks like the head sculpt's kind of virtually the same. We'll have to see. He is going to come with a hat, and he comes with a scooter accessory, which I am excited about. Black slides again. His figures are actually really good. Like, his uh, his last Elite was very good, so I, it, no matter what happens, it's going to be a fun figure. I know it's going to be fun. You can switch it around and stuff, but this Matt Riddle does look good. We also have a look at Queen Zelina. Very good looking figure in the white gear. I think it looks great. Head sculpt looks good. The women's figures, I, I'm way more excited for women's figures than I used to be, man. They actually feel poseable, feel good in the hand, can do the, the rest of the things that most of the men's figures can do, so that that's all exciting for me. And this one I did not see coming, man. For Elite Series 99, we have Boogeyman returning to the Elite line. Haven't seen him since Elite 48. 50 series later, we get another Boogeyman, and he's the Chase Variant Edition. You have your all-black pants with your red head with the worms coming out. You also have your Boogeyman face with the yellow added. You also have worms accessories, clock accessory, heart necklace. Get the staff. Boogeyman's very toyetic, right? He's very toyetic. A very great-looking action figure. I can't wait for both of these. I'm absolutely going to try my best to get both of them. I love the Boogeyman with the red head sculpt. This is sick. I did not expect to see this today, so having him in Elite 99 it gets me excited. You know, it gets me going there. I'm excited for this one. I don't know if the last two in the set are going to be Otis and Chad Gable or if Cody is indeed going to be an Elite 99. We'll have to find out about that. That is something we did not find out today or at least at this juncture. So that is what we got there. We also have a look at Mr. America who is a part of Elite Series 101. You guys know that Mr. America is just Hulk Hogan dressed up. They continue to give him this torso. You guys are going to see that throughout this video. They keep giving this ripped up torso for this old man Hogan. I don't know why they keep doing this. It's not accurate. It is not accurate accurate it is not accurate can you please change this torso to the elite 34 torso and get rid of the tattoo or do something there's got to be something we can do there it's because they keep this same leg mold and then uh if they were to give him the other torso i think it makes him too tall or something or i, I don't know exactly what the deal is there but they need to change it but i am excited to get a, a mr america to fill out that spot of hogan also have a look at sonia deville and this was interesting did not expect to see sonia deville this will be her second elite i think it's her third or fourth figure but i like the gear i like uh what we got going on it looks like this is a newly sculpted chest i don't think i've ever seen this chest mold before looks just like sonya and i know it'll be a good figure because women's figures are, are pretty damn good now like we've stated so that is really good to see and then this one is insane a johnny knoxville elite figure in a elite series 101 very cool it looks just like him i'm guessing it's going to be his wrestlemania gear versus Sami Zayn. we'll probably get another Sami Zayn elite 102 or 103 or something like that to go with it maybe a big hand accessory i'd love to see the big mouse trap or something to go with this Johnny Knoxville, but it's a very unique formula. I'm excited for it. It doesn't even look like it has ab crunch, so I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm excited for this Johnny Knoxville. Very unique and outside the box. Sky's the limit. I think we're going to end up getting Logan Paul eventually, too. Moving right along, we also have Series 18 of the Legends line at Target. We did get these revealed to us. You have Samu and Fatu here in the Legends line from Target. Bamboo stick accessory, and they're also the Chase variants in their colorful or half colorful gear here with your floral patterns and stuff. Very cool. Very badass. I love this. I think this is awesome. And I think it's awesome that we have two Chase variants here. So you get two different packs there. To go along with these two in the Elite Legends line from Target in Series 18 is going to be Pauly Dangerously ECW Paul Heyman figure in the suit. This is a beautiful figure. You get your long cordless phone or cell phone, whatever you want to say. 
Get your ECW hat. Oh my god, dude. What an epic figure. I, I am so excited for this one. This is awesome. Really great stuff here for Polly Dangerously. Didn't expect this when I rolled out of the bed. Epic reveal here for him. Moving right along, we also have our WrestleMania Elite figures. We have The Rock and Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 18. Very iconic. I love this new Rockhead sculpt. This Hulk Hogan, again, this is a custom that I made, and I think what I'm going to do is buy this Elite and then just take the boots off and put them on my Ultimate Edition fix-up because it has the accurate stuff on it, right? So this torso, again, they are using for the WrestleMania 18 Hogan. I just need the boots for my Ultimate Edition because you guys know that we made this on surgery already, and I don't want this torso, so I'm going to have to fix it up any way I can. He comes with his bow, he comes with his belt. It's probably inaccurate. The Rock figure is pretty plain Jane as well. I don't know if he'll come with any more accessories, but it is cool to see these two. I thought this would be a make for an awesome two-pack or something, but it is cool to see them both here to pose with on the shelf for The Rock and Hollywood Hogan for WrestleMania Elites. This is WrestleMania 39 Elite Wave right here. So the first two in the wave are Rock and Hogan. You also have Macho King in a very bright rainbow gear with his scepter and everything going on. Very cool looking Macho. And to round up our WrestleMania 39 Elite set, we have Dusty Rhodes with a yelling expression in his polka dots. White and yellow boots. Very, very sweet right here. And as a full whole, if you add up all these figures you get and you build up, collect all the figures, you get the build a figure, it's going to be an updated mean gene with a great looking head. I like this Mean Gene a lot. I think this is the best Mean Gene we've seen and it looks to be better than his first go around so or his second go around as well so this is sweet. I like this Mean Gene. Very cool head sculpt. Excited to get this one into the collection. Another build a figure wave. You guys know all the build a figures are in suits. That's just the way it works. So Rock, Hogan, Macho King, Dusty, Wrestlemania wave, build a figure Mean Gene. Very nice. Moving right along we have the top picks wave getting into this damn Roman Reigns again. Head of the table shirt, Blue Universal title, Red Gauntlet. Here he is he doesn't even have the sculpted on gauntlet for the hand that we just saw with the Ultimate Edition. He has the gold version just repainted in red like he used to wear. And you guys will see, same exact head sculpt. Oh, God. Why do we have to keep seeing this head sculpt? And it's the head of the table shirt again. This, this figure is identical to like the last four. He's the new Braun Strowman, apparently. We also have a look at Seth Rollins. We called this yesterday on our preview night video that uh, we were going to get a top pick Seth Rollins, and there it is. Comes to fruition fully there. Got the new formula. We did not see any other Seth Rollins unfortunately but we have this new Seth Rollins here which is pretty much the exact same as the other it is missing Deco on his left leg I think it's supposed to say Messiah down the leg they're not going to do that of course but he does have the same jacket but it's in full black kind of plain Jane man not my favorite it is another Seth Rollins gear to add to the collection that is slightly different than the last Elite 93 figure but it's the same head it's the same deal going on just a little bit differently there but the last figure in this set is Rey Mysterio and oh my god in heaven this figure is absolutely gorgeous and it's probably Probably the best elite Rey Mysterio of all time. I thought the last top picks Rey Mysterio was the best of all time. This one may have beaten it. It is the Macho Man inspired gear here in the pink, yellow, black. Oh, what a beautiful looking figure. I love this head sculpt. They actually put that basic head that I said they should use for all Rey Mysterios. They put it on there and they repainted it and it looks insane. I am Lucha on the back. I love this figure. It's just going to be an instant cop every time I see it because you got plenty of fix-ups on this guy. Like all the different gauntlets and gloves. Pink gloves. You could put black gloves. You could put white gloves. You could switch the torso with the black singlet. I mean, so many different things. Put the yellow singlet on our other top picks ray in the yellow gear oh my god at the different fix-ups you can do but this figure is gorgeous this is this is an immaculate looking action figure ray mysterio is so toyetic but again it adds to the just insane list of Rey Mysterio elites we're getting this year, but uh, this is a beautiful one. I, I love this one a lot. I popped hard for this one. Speaking of which, moving on, guys, we also have Retro Bundle 3, which is going to feature Doink, Greg Valentine, Lex Luger, and Tugboat. Now, we already saw these figures, I'm pretty sure, at WrestleMania Axis, so I'm imagining that these will... I don't know if they're up for pre-order already, or they'll go up for pre-order soon, because we already saw this wave not too long ago. I don't remember Greg the Hammer Valentine, though, for some reason, but we do have Greg the Hammer Valentine. The ever-growing retro collection across all brands it's just insane at the level of, of stuff that you can make nowadays. But you do have Retro Pack Bundle number three. I don't even remember Retro Bundle number two. Is that the one with Mean Gene in them? I thought that was a different one too. I don't know. Moving on ahead, guys. We also have some Retro 2 Packs from Ringside Exclusives or Ringside Collectibles. They are Ringside Exclusive. I'm sorry. But these are Retro Tag Team Bundles 
featuring Kevin Nash and Scott Hall together in their NWO gear. And then the other one is going to be Hollywood Hogan with six. So you get two different two-packs here, which are going to be beautiful. Good God. I, I like these a lot. I love the way that Hogan looks. I like the way all four of them look, honestly. But these are really badass retros. I'm excited to see what the packaging looks like. I bet they'll be really awesome simply because they are NWO inspired. You guys know they're going to dress it up nice for life packaging, this, that, and the other gonna be absolutely incredible but this is nice i like this a lot this is this is good stuff we like to see this we even had these on display and they look really good i like them a lot another figure that we saw that was not revealed to us on preview night is going to be the chase variant xavier woods so you guys know the the xavier woods that we saw the other day the king of the ring xavier woods well now we have the chase version i love the new formula they're using for xavier he looks a bit tall but i love the chase variant here in the the reddish gear very cool very cool i think i'm a bigger fan of the white gear but i still love this Xavier. I think everything going on with it is really nice. We also got to see Chainsaw Charlie on display, which looked really good. He's got his pantyhose head sculpt. He's got his chainsaw. Very cool figure, man. Very, very cool. Just so sick, man. Good God. Like, what are we doing here? You know, what are we doing here? I am enjoying everything we're seeing. We also had a look at some Elite Series 96 images going through the full wave. You have Brock Lesnar, Shinsuke Nakamura, Ilya Dragunov, Hulk Hogan, Kofi Kingston, and Dewdrop. Pretty solid wave right here. You have Brock with the more ripped up arms for some reason. I don't know why they did that but i like this figure i like the smiley head sculpt you guys know we're going to be getting this head on the amazon exclusive three pack but this is a nice updated little brock lesnar elite i'd like to see the cornrows look but this is cool he comes with a camera and still steps the white nakamura looks insane with that jacket i love the formula that he's got going on you know he's got his regular shinsuke stuff going on but the all white is just too fresh and maybe we can get these for arms or something these arms will look great on a finn balor elite with your white bicep band and white thick wrist tape looks really good i love the crown accessory you got your Ilya dragon off head sculpt looks a bit weird now i feel like it looked better yesterday but now it looks a bit weird but the formula is really good you know he's gonna be able to pose around with the best of them ripped up torso red trunks he's got his robe going united kingdom championship i don't i feel like the eyes are too sunken in or something on this figure or said too wide or i don't know what exactly is going on but you also have Hulk Hogan, which we discussed. I love the updated in the images, you know. I, I, I also think that at certain angles, this Hulk Hogan looks like it has skin uh, skin tone, like dry brushing or shading on it. At different angles, it just looks like it is. But all these Hulk Hogan figures is insane too, man. I mean, he's going to end up having way more figures than anybody when it's all said and done. He's easily out there in the Ultimate Editions. I mean, this guy has so many figures adding up and adding up. As soon as he came back to the line, I mean, they just started printing Hogan's, which makes total sense. It's just insane to see. See. But I like this Hogan. I think it's actually a good Hogan, and I don't really mind the Hogan figures, to be honest with you, just because, you know, all these different looks look really great on a shelf. I think it's really cool and colorful, so that's nice to see. You also have Kofi Kingston in his Skeletor gear. Again, we saw this. I'm gonna have to paint up and decal up these gloves and stuff. What I don't like about this figure, though, is they did give him the Montez Ford legs, which means he has no lower leg rotation. I don't know how I can fix that, but uh, kind of uh, ruin the lower legs on this, because it's, it's pinless, so you can't really switch it. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Maybe I can switch the feet, but that kind of takes me out of this figure. It's a great looking Kofi. I like the hair. I like the Skeletor jacket. Uh, very sick unicorn graphic on the back there by Main Event Gear, I think, who made this. So to see that come to fruition in full life gear as an action figure has to be very rewarding for the gear maker. But Kofi Kingston looks good, except for the Montez Ford formula. You have Dewdrop, which we discussed yesterday as well. Metallic green and different blue gear as the Chase variant. Uh, I guess she's probably not going to have a figure for a while. Usually people that they give a Chase to... It means that they're not going to have a figure for a little bit there is usually what they tell us. But Dewdrop has a cloth accessory as well. We also have a look at the Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition and its render image. So you get your interchangeable hands. You guys know it's also coming with the championships. You have your three interchangeable head sculpts, which look good. I'm really hyped for it. Brock Lesnar's Ultimate Edition is one of my favorites ever, so this one's probably going to be even better than that, so I'm all aboard that train. You don't have to fight me on that one, Brad. We also have a look at Ultimate Warrior, which we saw last night, but it is updated, you know, render images here, which I like to include to update you guys if you guys missed out on that or you wanted to see better, clearer looks at it. This is what we got going on. We also had a look at the Survivor Series Elites, which includes AJ Styles, Becky Lynch, Rick Rude in the suit as the Build-A-Figure, Ultimate Warrior, and Drew McIntyre, which I just want to run through these really quick. Like, the Rick Rude head sculpts look great. I actually think these look really, really phenomenal uh, just entirely, except for the AJ Styles. The AJ Styles can go just kick bricks and jump off a bridge. I can't stand that figure. Good Lord in heaven. I don't even want to look at it. I just, whatever. But the packaging's sick. I can say that. Very, very sick packaging with the, like, glowing WWE logo. You got some red, some blue. 
going through there. Actually, really cool figures, men on card there in the Survivor Series get up, but that doesn't take away from the ugly AJ Styles figure. We also have our One Division or Scarlet Witch Becky, which is pretty good, which we saw last night. I, I like it. You know, hopefully the knee pads don't hinder articulation. The Ultimate Warrior is just as good as I thought it was in the silver. You got the you know, the, the Survivor shorts on there with the rainbow gear. Very good warrior, man. And I, I, again, I do not like warrior, but this figure is sick as hell. It looks like it could beat me up in my sleep. You know what I'm saying? So this Ultimate Warrior looks really, really good. Rounding out the set is Drew McIntyre. The only reason I'm including these is because it's updated images. It's images that we didn't see and angles and lighting, and they look really, really good. So I did want to include these, but you have your duster on Drew McIntyre. He's looking pretty damn good here. Did not expect this one from the weekend whatsoever. And then we also had a look at the greatest hit its wave. I did want to include some mock images so you guys could see exactly what that wave's going to look like in package. It is very similar to their last figures. Not a lot of updates going on. You do have your double jointed arms. You do have your interchangeable hands. I think the Undertaker figure looks a lot better than I was expecting with the singlet and stuff like that. The arms are pretty damn big. I honestly would like to see them update that full look again. I love the shoulders and arms they included on this Taker and you get you leave him in that entrance that entrance duster deal right there and it looks even better so that may be an option for you but just circling through the entire wave i think it's a solid first wave of the greatest hits i'm excited to see where they go from here maybe how they could change i'd like to see them change the figures a little bit more but at the same time you know i don't uh, i don't completely hate it it's kind of a trippy deal to see you know this elite 24 ray all the way in the future and it look identical it literally looks just like that figure except with double jointed arms and interchangeable hands but you also have bam bam bigelow in the set you also have jake the snake in the set and uh, you also have Rikishi in the set and he's twerking himself away there in his different images but he comes with an oval IC title uh, I did use mine as a custom so this is probably one that I'm gonna have to grab you know that's just the way it is but Jake the Snake rounds out the set and he looks pretty solid as well so after the greatest hits wave we also got to look at new superstars figures which is a line that i'm really really enjoying the only thing i'm not enjoying is that i can't find series two or three in stores whatsoever and i have avoided ordering any and i'm trying to have a men on card set and a loose set and we've had series five revealed to us with the rock macho man mr t typhoon Rick Rude, and Earthquake, and I can't catch up. I just cannot catch up. I don't know what the hell the deal is, but I cannot catch up with these. Hopefully these are, you know, in full fruition and I can get my hands on them, but these figures look amazing. I really enjoy this line right now. I think Men on Card and all their cloth accessories and the way these look are very, very fun. I just hope I can find them because I, I like all these. I think they all look great. I think they're all going to look great in package. I think the Rick Rude is fantastic with the pink tights and the head sculpt. Uh, really good stuff. Really good stuff, but... It's just not uh, not easy to track these down for whatever reason. But moving on forward, we also have some basic figures. We have a Commander Aziz, I think his name is. Pretty decent looking basic. I'm sure his will be massive to go up with our Omos figure. We have an Aaliyah basic, which I think favors her a little bit. I like the teal gear with the flames and stuff, which looks good. We also have a look at Pat McAfee, who is also the chase variant in the set with his uh, I think this is his Wrestlemania gear and then another gear I don't know which ones these are actually I can't remember exactly but he's got the for the brand he's got his punning logos on there I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering this basic I don't pre-order basics but I'm definitely getting my Pat McAfee's in you know what I mean I, I love Pat McAfee I don't really like him as a wrestler you know I'd like him to stay in his lane there a little bit but you know what uh, he can do what he wants he's accomplishing dreams and he's good at what he does so that's that's that but we also have a look at Tommaso Ciampa here who is also a chase variant you get two different options for Tommaso Ciampa, one in the shorts gear and one in the long trunks. And I think that is everything. I think I ran through every single image that we are getting. I don't think that we had anything else revealed to us or anything like that, but we did have, you know, uh, different updates and stuff throughout the day. But I do believe that's everything. I do believe that is every single thing that we saw today. Epic day. Very epic day of reveals. I don't know if preview night was better or today was better. We had a lot of stuff going on. We had some mistakes and we had some things that I wasn't that crazy about, but at the same time, I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. I think uh, Elite 100 disappointed. A lot of people are disappointed me a little bit there. Again, the figures look great. I think individually the figures are good. And you had some banger figures today. And some figures I'm really, really excited about. But you also had some that I, I was underwhelmed with maybe a little bit. I don't know. I think overall, really good day. You know what? I'm just going to put a cap on That is going to wrap up our SDCC coverage. Now, I do not know exactly what's going to come tomorrow. I don't know what the future holds for the rest of the weekend as far as reveals go. We may be completely done. But we had a lot, Sean. 
shown to us, man. A lot. If you comp if you combine preview night and today, it's a ton of stuff. It is, it is so much. It is so much. You add that with the AEW figures. You add that with the exclusives. You add that with other lines and different things. I mean, just unbelievable. It is such an exciting time for all the stuff we're going to be getting, man. But that is going to wrap up my SDCC coverage for day two or day one. Uh, I guess last night was night one or preview night. And then today's day one, technically, because we didn't have a day yesterday. We had just a night. So I don't, I don't know what to call it. But that is going to wrap up today's San Diego Comic-Con coverage of 2022, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on everything, including Elite 100. But I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed day and leave me your thoughts down below.